So oh, here hello, we go. Everyone. Good morning, good evening, good day, and good time zone to you all. And welcome back to our second of three live streams. Where's the loot? What's going to be coming with Destiny 2 Who, in who's in on April 9th? As a reminder, everything you're about to see is available to all players, just as was everything last week when we went ahead and had a chance to go ahead and walk through Onslaught. Uh, now, today we've obviously got a few topics that we touched on last week. We got a new social space to go ahead and check out. We're going to look at some rewards, obviously, uh, and maybe a, a, an up close and personal look at the Brave Arsenal. Yes. Of course, I'm not the only one I don't know what you said in the beginning, but it sounded interesting. Folks here for the Bungie development team, and I'm going to go ahead and go on down the line and introduce them. If you were here last week, you obviously recognize his face, but uh, Tom Farnsworth, senior design lead, how you doing today? The same mom. Thank you so much for the uh, nine months. A little bit, but thank you. Here. I've been yeah. at Bungie for about 12 years, maybe a little longer. It's been a while. A decade plus. Uh, and obviously there's some stuff we're going to be looking at today that's kind of like full circle. Yeah. With, you know, the Space Tiger logo yep. and the light there from the early days of Destiny and uh, I've been fortunate to, you know, I, I was able to place the Kavistov way back yeah. in, in Cosmo. Uh, yeah, Mentioned of Kavistov! Kavistov, come back! Confirmed. Team effort, but yeah. uh, there's a few things that I, I'm really having had a chance to work and proud to, to, to interact with players. And then there's some things I'm a little more infamous, infamous for, like placing yeah. the... The drop pods and homecoming. <laughs> um, so follow them on Twitter. Let them know how you thought about that. Right. And then over yeah. the past few years, I've been working on on seasons and, yeah. and things like the 30th and Into the Light very as exciting. a creative lead. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you very much for your hard work. As someone who's played a lot of it, uh, excited to go ahead and dive in more with even more of it today. And of course, also we're joined by Chris Proctor, senior design lead here at Bungie. Uh, Chris, for the fine folks at home who may not have heard you on a podcast or know anything about you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at Bungie? Yeah, hey Andy, thanks. Uh, yeah, I joined Bungie four and a half years ago as a weapons feature lead for Destiny 2. Um, so a bunch of Destiny releases. This will be my 17th with Into the Light. That all? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going through like a bunch of greatest hits. Greatest yeah. hits. Yeah, it's going to be cool. We obviously have a lot. Of Where's the loot? Today. And uh, greatest hits, I think, is probably the best way to describe it. And of course, last but very not least, down at the end, the one and only Kelsey Rice, systems designer here at Bungie. Kelsey, how you doing today? Hello, oh, I'm doing great. All right, well, obviously the uh, the third verse, same as the second and the first. For the folks at home uh, who may not know you or know anything about your work, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at Bungie? Yes, I'd love to. Um, first, yes, I'm a systems designer at Bungie. I've been here for about two and a half years, um, and I work on a lot of fun stuff like quests and pursuits and progressions, a lot of... That have loot to them? Design, which the really wait. fabric that holds all of our <laughs> adventures Question together. Shuff. Where's the loot? Well, obviously, you've had, had a big hand in Into the Light as well today. We're going to go ahead and dive into that here in just a bit. Um, but, you know, before we go ahead and dive on, and is there anything you guys are excited about today in particular? Or should we just go ahead and show rather than just tell? What do you think? Let's show it is. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and, and dive on in. <clears throat> dive on in, rather. So we're going to start off. We have a brand new social space, the Hall of Champions, that we're going to go ahead and check on out. Kelsey, shall you? Uh, Kelsey's the one who's responsible for taking us through that. So <laughs> shall you return to the throne world, obviously, and dive on in? Yes. There are tithes. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> there are tithes to be gathered. Uh, now, while we're on the way, uh, Tom, the Hall of Champions is, is a brand new social space here in Destiny 2. Uh, where is this? Where are we going to, like, where's this place been? Why are we checking it out now? So Shax has carved out just a, a little little bit of the, the backstage of the tower. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to see a, a few little little fun nods here <gasps> to, to Destiny history. Yep. All right, we're well, um, now on screen. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not the on D1 tower. Sweepy bot. Uh, and this is actually the Tree. lead up to the Hall of Champions. <laughs> this is where they so keep the it all the time. Yeah, this oh, is my you know, God. This the, there's the for, snow. For holiday events. Yeah. A little pile and, of uh, snow. And or is it, <laughs> or is it so so Osiris's some, uh, dandruff? Oh this look! All right. so the old solstice stuff and uh, so the he's, revelry. He's carved out space maybe that has uh, been hiding in plain view potentially for other sweeper bots. Cool. Or red so our new tower. social space is the so Destiny is Towers from, uh, closet. The, uh, the onslaught is ADU. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Little, little Noah put it here himself. <laughs> no, and, and, and all the space. Like, Seriously? Uh, if we just take a, a step forward, you're gonna. Literally, uh, there's a janitor. Oh, okay. Here, hello. The Hall of Champions. All right, so this um, is the Hall of Champions. Okay, never mind. And All right. Just like uh, Zer kind of carved out Eternity <laughs> for, uh, for the 30th anniversary. Uh, Shax has, has kind of set the Wait a minute. Course, and into the light, where they, they, all your armor, your weapons. Oh, I saw Recluse say something. There was Recluse. Excellent. Awesome. All right. Well, Kelsey, uh, can you go ahead and show us a little bit? We're going to go ahead. This and reminds me of the the, uh, the, the Leviathan thing. Uh, let's thing. go ahead and start there. What are we What are we looking at, and how do we go ahead and start opening, cracking these open, rather? Yeah. So as you can see, this space is just full of chests. Oh it's my God! I thought it was food. On the floor. I literally thought like this 30. was like 
Uh, Food. You can come here to uh, redeem this currency, uh, trophies of bravery, that you're going to earn from completing Onslaught and from playing the broad game in Destiny. Um, so all of these trophies here, if you progress your hype with Shaxx, uh, you'll be able to spend them here at all these chests to get a really cool set of armor. I can pull open my character so you can see what that looks like on the hunter. That's right. Also, too, so for the folks at home, uh, we, we went ahead and, and mentioned this as well online, but as a quick reminder, this is actually an armor set that is, that's inspired by wow. year one of Destiny 2. Um, There's a recluse. Tom, I see that. See the parade armor set? Is that a mountaintop? Yeah. I so swear like, me, it, mom. It's the, 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 the uh, yeah, D2 year one parade armor. So is that armor. hollow balloon? Yeah, yeah, you had it in Homecoming. Again? It's kind of a classic set. We're, again, like, cool circle here. The with, yeah, we were, like, beginning uh, the Destiny 2 saga there. There, and now we're kind of, you know, ending the fight here. We're getting. I swear, if there's the no, if they the bring checks, back Mountain Top and they don't do Revoker, armor. We're calling the parade I'm going armor, to riot. Uh, yeah, and um, they, everyone can earn it. It's available to all players. Excellent. And uh, there's some other cosmetics we can show off here that kind of play with it too. Very nice. And also too for uh, folks out there, we obviously we have the hunter. There's here. a Actually, big door. What is that? that? The armor set one more time. Yeah. For the folks at home. There's a gooey uh, ball too, back so there. This is uh, an up close and personal look, obviously, at this armor set, uh, which will be available to, to everyone that goes ahead and jumps into into the light. Yeah, that's, um, also that's too, cool. there's a Titan fashion's set really cool. Yeah. Set, we should yeah. also say mm -hmm. uh, that you can go ahead and see in the key art as well. But obviously, this will be arriving on April yeah. 9th, so you'll yeah. get a chance to go ahead and go. Where's the yeah, it's looking fresh, honestly. I'm not too. I, I wouldn't be upset to go ahead and don that armor. Oh yeah, boy, it's really somebody's... interesting. Like setting all these, setting, working on all this stuff because that's it's really, really interesting. interesting. Where's the fitting game was just such a cool experience. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> all right, so we're obviously equipped. We've got an armor set that we're going to go ahead and be chasing. Yeah, well, down, okay. But, uh, why is Shaq got the with, black with heart Shaq's as a pet back there? Is that our site over there as well? Yes, that is our site. Um, and one other, one last chest I want to point out here. Oh, please. This one is going to be your hub for um, just grinding out weapons. So uh, th those those uh, trophies that you'll be collecting with shacks, you uh -huh. can just keep redeeming them here, um, and you'll be able to get all your guns here. Um, and this one here is uh, gold. We're bringing back the gift of the thunder gods. Uh, so if you need to catch up on your power level to make sure that you're like ready to hop right in, that's something you can do as well. Ah, that's right. And honestly, it's been an, it's uh, again, ah, it's interesting, this is interesting. What, what so that? If you've got any friends that maybe aren't quite at that powerful cap, also, what that? Actually, double check. This will bring folks up to the powerful cap. Was it? Powerful what that? Pinnacle. That's right. Okay, perfect. All right. What so, that? For your friends that want to go ahead and dive in right alongside you, even if they maybe I want to dive into you know, what that? Recently, they got a chance to go ahead and just catch right up. They'll be ready. Be ready for what that? Yeah. That's right. Okay, perfect. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to Shax actually as a starting point. So how are we going to be working with Shax? Obviously, we know what that is. Who, that Shax, what us, that? But, uh, Kelsey, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, of course. No, I'm not yeah, so about that. that. All the stops and defeating the witness. So uh, Shax has opened up his brave arsenal for us. As you can see, Shax is really like the shining star of this area. But what about Even opening the thing back kind of back there? By all these hollow shaxes that line the space, which I'll be happy to talk about in a moment. Oh yes, it's great. Um, what that? But yeah, let's 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 go talk to him and see what he's got. I don't care. Um, oh, stop. So uh, over the course of Into the Light, you earn, uh, earn reputation with him. You're going to be able to progress and get all this. this oh, cool don't, don't I, um, my dyslexia can't read that quick enough. Point out. Interesting. Oh, my big head's in the way. A, a super black key. Is that, is that what I'm seeing over there, Kelsey? Ah, oh, yes, words. Okay. Yeah, and I wonder where that goes. Um, so maybe <clears throat> maybe people that are D1 vets potentially from back in the day might r remember what this. Is this uh, what's this? What's what's this symbiote that? looking back here? Like, what that? Yeah! Yeah, right now it's it's pretty powerful. It's in containment. Oh, if no! You go back! Go back! You'll be able to yeah. get access to the keys you need to unlock this. Oh, oh. And get access to the shader. I want, I want so, it. All right. So obviously, too, yes. As a reminder, uh, oh. heads up everyone. So one of the ultimate rewards available through this will indeed be the return of the super black shader. Uh, it's, what? Probably, it's back. There's probably some song lyrics to go along with that. I couldn't tell you what they are. But I will say to the Destiny Fashion subreddit, uh, we are prepared for you to go ahead and take a look. So, so actually, really? let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and just equip super black. And we get to be edgy quickly. hunters. Oh, man. Whoa! Chat with zero control. personality. It does not give Let's go! Back. Let's go! All right. Yeah. So Shax is obviously going to be there to help us get rewards. In addition to the brave arsenal and the armor, Super Black is waiting for us. Let's uh, go! So tell us a little bit about our site as well. Actually, he's uh, he's. I'm not sure if many people in the chat know about him. He's usually lived in lore entries, but um, let's go ahead and get a look and see what we're going to be Mesh. working with him on. Huh. So. Our site has a lot oh, of stuff for us. Stuff. And we did some, some Delicious. interesting things in with uh, some of the quests you can pick up from our site. 
Yes, um, more bounties. They unlock a couple things. They also have very fun puns. Uh, that Sniper! What is it? What is it? What's what? Is it? Um, so, uh, for every single weapon that we're going to be talking about today, there's a corresponding quest. Um, once you've completed the quest for that weapon, you're going to be able to unlock access to that weapon, dropping as rewards. But there's two other really cool things uh, that we can talk about there. Um, one, we have these special limited edition uh, appearances for the Brave Arsenal. What? Um, so completing these quests, you're going to get a guaranteed, curated uh, copy of these li limited edition weapons. Excellent. Um, Le what do you mean limited edition? They look red. Um, oh, I get red. You'll unlock attunement, which is something I can talk about in a second. I see falling, uh, falling yeah, guillotine so there. Take a look at could go, go back to the sniper. So here's a look, of course. Uh, uh, they, may, they may remember this one. I get a hunch that Charlie uh, is really excited, but uh, I know it's so exciting. The <laughs> mountaintop. Uh, so, this is uh, a quick look at the mountaintop. Obviously, uh, Chris, we're going to dive in more with the whole uh, Brave Arsenal in a little bit, but this is, uh, I believe she touched on the limited edition edi versions of these. The uh, can you tell us a little bit about what the limited Where's editions of these are that are available over the course of Into the Light? Sure, yeah, so the Brave Arsenal... Oh, that's nice. What is that? Uh, is that the Recluse? They actually have the Recluse perk! Is that the Recluse perk? Mm -hmm. They there nerfed a, it badly, uh, though. ...chance that one will drop as a limited edition variant, which comes pre-equipped with a super shiny ornament that's... Yeah. Oh! That weapon. Yeah. Uh, that's so it. The, um, it <laughs> is, uh, that's the it! Strength that's what the fuck! Uh, these are... <laughs> ...levels of fancy. Yeah. So you can't apply shade... Wait, Cascade Point in the first slot? Got it. Um, the ornaments will only be available <gasps> up until the final shape launches. Yeah. Eager uh, action! Makes sense. Chain so reaction! Be all all right. So there's the ultimate I was there version with the limited yeah. edition well, on there, but other than the that, slammer's already the been launches, slammed, so everybody. These Garbage. Farming for them. And yeah. oh, no, oh, no, no, cool visuals. They drop the Rip the the kill it, kill it. Columns, but they don't have any other gameplay differences. So if you've got a great uh, base weapon, you don't need to go and get yeah, just cosmetic. Makes sense. Okay. Right, we're going to be getting, able to test these out in a little okay. bit. So, <clears throat> obviously, we're going to go through all of these here in just a bit. Chat, there's a taste of just a few. Uh, we're going to get a chance to go ahead and check it out. Um, but also, too, for the folks that want to go ahead and farm these rolls out, Kelsey, I believe you just mentioned attunement. Can you tell us a little bit more about that before we move on? Yes, I'd love to. Can you talk so, about the snipers uh, that are in the game? thing that you can do when completing these these weapon quests, once they're available at our site, is attune to a weapon. So let's say that there's, there's a weapon you really want to drop. A sniper. Uh, you can bend uh, luck in your favor and make it more likely for that weapon to how use. nice if only everything uh, so in the game had for that example i can do that now let's do let's do let's do recluse yeah so chat seems to be pretty hyped on recluse <laughs> so I uh, wanna, if you're looking around you'll see there's all of these oh. these shacks everywhere which we just had an absolute blast uh uh working with and coming up with um and once you've unlocked attunement, you can just freely do this at any time. You can you can change your attunement any time. Um, you can choose which weapon. Has uh, Shax has a so whisper of the worm in that other picture. Okay. There we go. Got our thumbs up. We're good. Get the affirmation from Shax never hurts. <laughs> yeah, I can always use more affirmations. From it me. never hurts, honestly. <laughs> he shouts them very effectively. I might add. Yes. Um, so, so yeah. Um, at any point, um, you can just visit another one. I could even just go and. You know, unattune and, and reattune to my heart's content. So oh, you, so a thing that should be that. everywhere. So yeah, pick 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 your favorites that you want to chase, and and uh, you'll have a much higher chance of getting them. Excellent. All right. Obviously, the uh, the Hall of Champions has a lot in store. There's even you more, can actually chat focus what here, but, drops. Uh, we see what you're saying in chat. I feel the electricity in the air. I should I also know one sniper. more thing. Uh, you should all go out and farm with impunity to go ahead and get the rolls you want. Ultimately, because with the arrival of the final shape, other than that, I think that I saw whisper. Like Hundred more vault slots. So go out there, grab the rolls, grab 27 edge transit, and hold on to them until you get a chance to Google which one has the god roll. All up to you. But we just wanted to let you know that with the arrival of the final shape. You'll be getting 100 more false slots. So go ahead and dive on in and grab whatever you want to go ahead and chase. I know you're uh, excellent. All right. Well, I think that's a solid tour of the Hall of Champions. Um, I think maybe at this point we go ahead and start dive on, dive it on in with the Brave Arsenal. Tom, what are you thinking? Yeah, I'll hop in. I'll, let's uh, go 
clean out some lost sectors. There we go. Wait, <laughs> wait, what do they say about Vault Space? As well. All right, wait, what do so they say about Vault Space? There's a quick look at the Hall of Champions What do they say? What do they say? We're going to go ahead and dive on in and look at the Brave Arsenal. Now, Chris, obviously, you were intrinsically involved. with 100 more slots? Building the Brave Arsenal. Oh, my God. Can you tell us a little bit about you know, how you guys landed on this iconic set of, of Destiny weapons for Into the Light. Yeah, we oh. all have our own favorite weapons internally. It's going to get filled uh, really quickly. To make sure that we delivered on a ton of nostalgia for the whole... Uh, need need a thousand slots set. there, pal, in the if vault. If you look on Reddit or Twitter, there are you know, hundreds of weapons that these could be. <laughs> yeah. Had to narrow it down to 12. It's like we couldn't reasonably fit any more into the activity. Yeah. We couldn't necessarily afford to make any more. <gasps> There's that. Blast there Furnace. Uh, what is that yeah, per set of Head Seekers on the first uh, set. These are going to be broken. From, from earlier in yeah. History. So for those who have been terrorized by Blast Furnace. There is a sniper. Now. Yeah. Obviously. That yeah, looks like succession. Just kind of walk through these. Let's go ahead and take us at a, a hung jury I see next as well. Sure. I can just, can we just, okay, I'll just mouse over him here. That, blast that furnace, is actually a really good sniper. Uh, for anyone that has Go back. A there was a sniper. Own crypt, they can get a yeah, succession. Weapon as well. Yeah, I should just touch on succession. And the, yeah, please. Uh, please, yeah, please. Well. Cyber. But these cyber, are fairly cyber. recent weapons. Yeah. But yeah. they are, by default, you have to own the release that those raids came out in. So you have to own Beyond Light if you want to get succession. You have right. to own Witch Queen if you want to get Forbearance. Yeah. The uh, Onslaught versions of these weapons, or the Brave Arsenal versions, are available to all players. So you get a taste of what... Like Final blows gra gra grenade energy yeah. when playing. Oh. Hand, Something about light subclass. <laughs> it's just, it's like a ton of bricks. Uh, let's see. We also have, there we go. Midnight Coup. Uh, for anyone who wants yeah. to thank you, Noah, as well, for going ahead and showing Kinetic Tremors and Explosive Payload. Let's go. Oh, just look, actually, can you adjust it just so it shows the waves in the in the shader, Tom? Oh, waves. There we go. There we go. You mean like the Black Armory awesome. shader? That's nice. Harkens back to one of my favorite times in the Black Armory. Excellent. All right, so we have a, a full list here. So we've gone over uh, all of them in the primary slot. Um, let's go ahead and move on down to the uh, the green ammo selection as well. Obviously, Recluse, chat, you've all noticed that. We're just yes. as happy that it's back as you are. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what else we got in store there. Luna's Howl. Howl. Of course. Actually, in particular with Luna's Howl. I know How we come they didn't do Not, not Forgotten? Earlier, but, you know, these weapons are not Too necessarily OP, huh? their previous estate just kind of held in stasis, but you guys have brought them forward with new perks. You've kind of done some redesigns as well. Um, with Luna Howl, <gasps> the, you that, uh, the Magnificent Howl perk has undergone a rework as well. And there's double uh, yeah, perks. Yeah, it's original shipping form. Uh, that there was it way is. Too strong because it would let you <laughs> uh, two tap a guardian in PvP incredibly fast with the perk up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, 180 RPM. Skill so, issue. Uh, we've brought Luna's <laughs> Howl forward as a 140 RPM hand cannon, but it retains the precision frame, so it's super easy to control the recoil. Yeah. We've also oh. redesigned the Magnificent yes. Howl perk, mm -hmm. uh, so that now lets you build up stacks of super bullets, um, a little bit reminiscent of, of Hawkman, yeah. uh, with precision final blows, yeah. uh, and then you can unleash those on Guardians to do massive damage. Oh. So it's not as easy, yeah. and obviously very strong in but still as well. good, yeah, I guess. Your time and actually land those headshots. Yeah. I'm saying that mostly to myself in the mirror as I, <laughs> as I get upset for losing another round of trials. But <laughs> so we had, uh, but it's a 140. Midnight Coup and Luna's Howl. That's right. Yeah. Um, we assigned those I, I'm actually really happy about yeah, that. I like 140s. On to see which one is more I don't know how everyone right. feels about <laughs> that because I know a lot of you like so like Luna's right and now, Not Forgotten, but I didn't like 180. We have an actual debt to settle internally here by the sounds of it. What's that mean? Which one do you think is going to win, Chris? Uh, I'm a little biased. A little biased? I, I have my uh, Midnight Coup from the Leviathan raid still in my vault. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm deeply attached to that weapon. Oh, fair enough. All right. We'll Talking about women. Here. All right. Uh, also, Elsie's. So, actually, what is cool that? As well. yeah. uh, this is no longer the stranger's rifle. This is Elsie's rifle. Oh, yeah, Elsie's no I was about to say! <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a really iconic. Oh, Destiny that would Desperado? The Destiny 1 campaign would have acquired as yeah. the stranger's rifle. Uh, it's come forward with oh. as close to its original feel as we could manage, uh, updated for the Destiny 2 sandbox. It's got a ton of uh, cool. It's new literally the D1. Really strong, uh, high impact yeah. pulse rifle. Um, it's running the rewind rounds hook. I mean, granted uh, that we obviously had it with uh, the exotic version, but. The D2 version, which harks back to the. Um, the, the original perks on the stranger's rifle in D1 as well. This one yeah. Is, uh, filthy, if I might say, with Zen Moment and Desperado mm, on there. Dirty. Like, 
yeah. And you're a filthy older, rifle. Mm, no, I uh, go back too, so in the vault and never be touched there, again. Um, what am I doing? That back up. There's a new origins trait. Origin trait, pardon me. As yeah, well. read that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so yeah, the indomitability trait. Uh, final blows with oh. light subclass equipped grenade, uh, grant grenade energy, and with the dark subclass equipped grant melee energy. Oh. Uh, so you get like that sort of duality, and they're, they're reasonably strong perks. Yeah, designed to keep you in the fight either way. Yep. Excellent. All right, Tom, let's go ahead and keep checking out. What else do we have in store here? Forbearance as well. Oh my about, God. That taste of raid weapons. Yeah. Uh, how did you guys go ahead and bring the, the PVE community right now? It's like, yeah. what did you guys end up doing to kind of retain that classic feel? Yeah, so we Chain reaction. feel like uh, the Witch Queen version <laughs> with slightly updated perks. So the, the perk pools are fairly similar, but with a couple of spicy additions. So we'll notice like? disruption break left column on a a yeah. frame grenade launcher, super, super strong. Yeah. It's not something that you get on the original version. It's disgusting. Yeah, but it's what? got all of the old classics. And yeah. It's got the, the new um, uh, indomitability origin trait instead of the soul drinker trait. And that's the same is true of any other ones <laughs> which had already shown. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks so good with that <laughs> on there. And of course, I think that was that a, a limited edition ornament on the recluse as well that you have over there? Yep. There's yeah, a base and look at the. Wow. Whoa. There we go. That's, again, the ultimate I was there. As you go ahead and begin your showdown with the witness, with the arrival of the final shape, it doesn't hurt to have one of these sitting on your hip. Obviously, to go ahead and make a statement the moment you walk into the I'm going to have Rat King uh, yeah, to the witness, the, obviously. Uh, the curated version. The natural drops of mm -hmm. the limited edition variants do have um, double percal. Double percal, that's right. Yeah. Excellent. And, of course, our beloved Edge Transit. You would yeah, say the beloved Edge, edge Transit. The, um, no, but the, the, that the strongest weapons from Forsaken. Cascade yeah, Point like being the first section of perks. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> chat. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, we were talking about that earlier. You're saying this one just hits like an absolute ton of bricks now. Oh, yeah, you can see some of the perks there. It's uh, It's pretty wild. Yeah, it was pretty wild on how many times I would get good. that the drop in Forsaken and I had to delete it. My void one specifically, but I'm also crazy about that kind of thing. Uh, all right, what else do we have here in this bottom row? The and of course, and the, 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 the now, our actually, slammer is useless to, now. Uh, as we were kind of talking about this earlier as well, that was kind of cool. Is Look at that. This is also going to be probably Eager the first uh, sword outside reaction. That available in Crota's End, I believe, um, that has sword logic on it as well. Uh, yeah, that's what? Uh, a great opportunity to uh, put that perk on something that isn't from that raid and yeah. a little bit earlier than we would normally put uh, raid perks onto a new weapon. Yeah. I'm also going to echo like chat that. here for a second. Is that it's over. I see on there. That sword logic yeah, on falling. Guillotine. <laughs> sword outside of um, 30th anniversary. Yeah. So have access to that. It would basically just be the slammer and then the uh, the falling guillotine yeah, from. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, that's exciting. Yeah, and this one has like the classic void perk. Uh, combo of a repulsive brace. Yeah. Destabilizing round. Oh, that too? Oh, we're going to have so old, many of these yeah. swords. Yeah, Slammer, uh, you know, I'm and sorry. Then, of course, we're also joined by <sighs> the Hammerhead. And look hammerhead. at that combination. Honestly, Rampage all are, all with Killing Tally. Armory. This is obviously one that has to come forward. Everyone's favorite legendary machine gun. Yeah, seriously. It's, you can't go past it. It just, from the sound of the rate of fire, everything about it just is, is one that lives on in my memories. And <laughs> 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 it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, this is looking fantastic. All right, so we have a whole cast of characters. Now, Tom, you've got some uh, some loadouts set up. You've got some Lost Sectors that you're going to go ahead and start diving in on. Um, How, how exciting. Lost Sectors, everybody. <laughs> We're already there. Okay, that's fantastic. The classic mountaintop recluse combo here. Yeah. And there's some new stuff with uh, mountaintop, too, where you can... Sort of seeing this development process the <laughs> was, you know, obviously one of the core tenets was to make sure that you're retaining that classic feel of these weapons and kind of what yeah. made them so good to begin with. There was no need to do that, but you did it anyways. Finally! Um, how did you guys kind of when I do that, it won't be, be me doing something stupid. It'll be me actually doing it for going big jump. Mountaintop uh, into the sort of modern destiny because it was just way too strong in both PvP and in PvE. Yeah. Uh, in PvP, it was like a, a pretty unpleasant meta when Mountaintop was part of everyone. Still board. really so funny that they don't bring back Revoker, though. One hit kill, How uh, convenient. Oh, we'll PvP. give you a succession, though. So we've reduced that a little bit. Uh, but we also um, saw how excited people were for the Danger Zone rocket launcher perk uh, yeah. launching you into the air. 
So we've made that part of the base behavior of the new um, micro missile frame grenade launcher intrinsic. Oh. So it gives you super um, low self damage and give yourself massive physics impulse. Yeah. Um, That's the, uh, amazing. The, the, the two soldier mains are just suddenly dusting off the yes. rocket launchers yeah. in real time right now, obviously. Uh, so obviously, too, is you know going ahead and adding just not only to the the perk pool, but kind of the intrinsic feel of these weapons. Uh, were there any others in particular when you guys were working on them where you're like, yes, this is this is how this change needs to go? Like obviously, yeah. magnificent how got to change, but is there anything else in that pool that feels like it was really kind of a cool leap forward for these weapons? Uh, I think blast furnace is a good example because the yeah. black armory version rolled with scopes, uh, which yeah, like everyone would just. Pick the best scope. Like I missed the scopes. We felt like the Rasmussen ISA yeah. scope was uh, like by far the best. Really, I still really miss clean. the scopes. Yeah. Um, and with the changes to uh, damage fall off on weapons, zoom doesn't matter that much anymore anyway. Yeah. So it comes pre-equipped with that scope geometry, but it can roll barrels instead. So you get all the benefits of stats. Oh, wow. Stats are already pretty good. Barrels. Yeah. Uh, but you have that that classic scope geo. I miss the scopes, to man. One more time. Even uh, if they at the least like well, let us to choose without any stat changes. Are going to be enhanceable? Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. So uh, these weapons will retroactively be enhanceable when the final shape comes. You hear that? Enhanced perks. That you get, uh, during this initial period, you'll be able to enhance them. Excellent. Okay. So you want to make sure to really hold on to those god rolls that light. GG went ahead and told you about. Yeah. All right. So Tom, oh, you have, you've swapped your load. Blast, blast furnace. We see you were. Yeah, you were just talking about blast furnace. So I, I thought I'd hop over to it. It's the matic. Yeah. Nice and smooth, like it always was. <laughs> Nice uh, Kelsey, actually, too, on, on your side, you know, obviously having this new tapestry of rewards to work with has been pretty exciting. As you kind of went ahead and sort of hatched your plans of how players would go about getting these, kind of what role did, did these weapons play, I guess, in the overall reward structure? Yeah, of course. Uh, so we wanted Oh, my God, the damage this. numbers of that rampage and killing tally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, they're out of ammo. Um, so uh, I saw people were asking a little bit about what we're going to be getting from Onslaught. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of chests in there, um, and every single chest has a weapon in it, um, and all of those chests can, uh, can, can react to attunement. So if you attune to a weapon, Anytime you see a chest, it's gonna happen. So uh, every every wave, every set, not every wave, that'd be crazy. Every every <laughs> set, uh, there's a chest with a weapon in it. If you do it at higher difficulty, there yeah. are two chests. They both have weapons in them. And if you keep the ADU alive throughout the entirety of onslaught, there's another bonus chest available. Um, mm. So you can get a lot if you if you just keep yourself kicking and, yeah. and get all the way through there. Keep the ADU up. Uh, there's a lot of guns to be had. So those folks who are going to dive into the Legend 50 wave version of Onslaught are going to be well rewarded for those efforts. Yeah, I better. You're too bad no revoker, <laughs> I, I'm though. I'm asking partially for myself, obviously, as well, and my fire team at home who might be listening. <laughs> uh, to, the weapons nope. team is really excited about it, Jimmy, because it, like, yeah. it uh, gives players some control over the drops. Yeah, that that'd be get. nice in but every single mode, you know? Your, like, blast furnace dropping from the chest. That'd be crazy. Know, focus it or anything like that. Yeah. Which, yeah, we love that. That'd be Actually, crazy if you could do that you know, everywhere. You guys are also players of the game. Chris, were there any roles or weapons in particular where it was just your personal favorite that you had a lot of fun with in a playtest? Or probably of these weapons, my favorite is Blast Furnace. Yeah. Uh, with that, that classic scope and wow, uh, basic. Got on mind, but I'm going to try Blast and Furnace. Yeah. Is uh, head seeking. But recluse. Uh, like just really nasty in PvP. Yeah. Um, I'm kidding. I like yeah, the Midnight Coup just because. I'll put another few hundred hours. Uh, Christmas. Kinetic tremors. Right I mean, come you, on. Obviously. The moment I can put Dead Man's Tail down again, then that will be the one that'll pick up immediately after. You're gonna talk about uh, the uh, your favorite. Uh, a little bit earlier. You're trying to get that you've exotic. <laughs> okay, great. As well, so that means in addition to the Brave Arsenal, you've got everything else at your beck and call. What are some <laughs> cool builds you've been working on, honestly, to go ahead and really emphasize these new weapons? Yeah, um, I've been I've been really enjoying uh, Solar Solar Warlock. I found is really really fun in Onslaught because you can. Sunbracers and just completely nuke it if you get your like unlimited grenades going. Yeah, sunbracers. So I've been really partial to uh, Luna's Howl. Uh, I mm -hmm. <laughs> um, sunbracers. Yeah, I, I tend to get a little. Uh, ah, little fellow little chick chicken build. Uh, or something. Main. <laughs> uh, can give me that that extra staying power I need to keep that ADU up. <laughs> it's like it's part of you got to be in the fight as much as you possibly can and I say that <clears throat> partially as a void hunter who crutches on invisibility and runs away right away so I understand and respect the hustle that I don't end up having. how dare uh, also too we got <clears throat> a question from chat uh, from Lil Camino, I think is how you pronounce the name. My, my mistake if you, if you get it correct. Um, but just to reiterate, uh, will these weapons be attainable after the final shape arrives? 
Uh, yes, the base weapons will be, mm -hmm. uh, but the limited edition variants with those uh, sweet ornaments will not. Excellent. All right. So again, make sure you go ahead and dive on in once uh, Into the Light is here. And make sure you get that that I was there card, more or less. At least again, speaking for myself. Uh, okay. So also too is I heard you guys mention briefly curated roles as well, because kind of like a part of the the quest uh, process was it with Shax or our site rather? Uh, with our site, yeah. Thank you. That's right. So is this one that you guys have set up where it's like this is this is the go-to role? This is our from our opinion like one of our yeah. Remember when or, curated roles uh, were like, like oh, we're trying, trying to get roles. that. Uh, yeah, we tried then, to deliver something which went out the door. Like an extremely good role, mm -hmm. not necessarily. The single yeah, I think that was kind of why they, they kind of went away from it because there's so yeah. many different combinations now. Yeah, yeah, on the way. But yeah, just yeah. with it, if you weren't listening, the, yeah, the so all the weapons are staying, I think they said, but those like really cool skin version of the weapons will go away when Final Shape comes out, so it's only here for. When it comes to the two months. Some of the edition variants. Mm -hmm. so if you log in, you do those quests at our site, um, you can get one guaranteed copy of a limited edition of each weapon with a, with that curated tool. Yeah. Oh. So we're getting, again, I, I think, obviously, Tom is here in the heat of battle, so to speak, but um, the uh, the origin trait, we just got another question about, actually. Mm. So for the folks at home, it is, it's indomitability, or? Yes. Thank you, all right. And that one, uh, can you, again, walk through that, that origin trait for us one more time? Uh, yeah, so on, on final blows, it grants you uh, grenade energy if you're running a light subclass. Oh, here we go, we got it on screen. Yeah. There we melee go. when uh, on darkness subclass. Void or, solo. Mm -hmm. uh, or melee energy if you're running a darkness subclass. Which is Smart. Or so doubling down with like okay, demolitionists so would be interesting or uh throw all the shurikens I possibly have. what's the melee one yeah. is it there's a more technical thing for that i'm sorry i got it wrong <laughs> out of the gate <laughs> okay puglius uh, all right let's see here um and also too actually uh you know we talked kind of at the beginning about what it was like to sniper sort of pare down this list mm. of, of weapons down to 12. can you tell us a little bit about that process i can't imagine it was anywhere near as simple <laughs> 12 was a really small number when you're looking at that uh that said weapons and yeah. if we'd gone by uh lists on the internet or even internally yeah. could easily have ended up being half hand cannons we had to restrict ourselves to two <laughs> there were a lot that could easily have made the cut yeah no no sniper really <laughs> except for succession I mean, honestly, yippee though, between midnight no revoker like a very very solid cast to go ahead and come out of the gate here with oh yeah 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 they're, they're really strong and they, yeah, uh, we definitely wanted to get that that spread of experience across the, the first few years of destiny 2 as well yeah honestly and also too is even you know recalling all the way back to the black armory you know that's i think a, a set of weapons that so many of us think back to so fondly. Um, you know, again, I think one of the goals here was to go ahead and retain that original feel. Um, you know, you guys went ahead and added in a bunch of new perks. Can you tell us what that process was like in terms of making sure those perks matched up with that feel of the weapon? Yeah, and in cases where we have multiple weapons in the same archetype shipping, so we've got two pulse rifles, two hand cannons, uh, we assigned those to different designers and like made sure that the uh, the roles that they occupy in the sandbox were sufficiently different. Um, we also would look at the most popular roles that the weapons had. This one's got Desperado, sure right? Still appear. Um, the weapons of men having to redesign some perks. Reload. Be too strong in today's sandbox. Yeah. That's Reload, dang thing. it. Uh, but yeah, and then introduce. <gasps> sniper. Like when you, when you go and you look at uh, a blast. Damn, blast this sniper is really good. The oppressive sniper. Yeah, I wish that could roll <laughs> X perk that came out after that, right? Like, yeah. And made sure we put a few of those in there as well. Yeah. And there's also, uh, I'm not sure if we've seen it on screen yet, but there's a new perk that'll be joining this pool as well, won't there? Uh, yeah, there is. There's uh, in this build. It's called Last Stand. Uh, the shipping name is different. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty sweet perk. If we could bring up the um, description of that when Tom is out of danger. <laughs> Which weapon is that? Wait, what? Uh, there was one. It was on Blast Furnace, I think. Yeah. Shut up. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, we'll let, we'll let him defend himself <laughs> briefly. Defend yeah. yourself. Uh, we have a, a couple questions from chat as well. Um, uh, so there's one that asks, uh, Flow Sniper. Snuffles, I believe. There we go. Can we grind Onslaught multiple times for multiple drops? I'm assuming this is just go ahead and dive on it and grind to your heart's content. Yes, you'll be getting, you'll get it, getting weapon weapons. Final blows, run, grant bonus getting, damage. Uh, melee and grenade final blows grant, grant a larger damage and, bonus uh, that can stack. That you, so, you can just keep opening that chest. so it's like golden tricorn, but going. dive on it. Honestly, yeah, go ahead and chase that roll, whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, also, too, one more quick question from chat. Uh, Mega12358, pardon me, Mega, uh, asks, can you take the limited edition ornament off and put it on another copy of the weapon, or is it just on that one weapon? So you can remove it. You can't put it on something else. Cool. It's locked to the weapon that it dropped on. Makes sense, yeah. 
I mean, honestly, when it looks that good, you just gotta go ahead and stick with what you got, you know? <laughs> yeah, if players have a favorite shader that they want to put on a weapon, they can remove it and put the shader on. Yeah, that's true. You can't shade the ornament. You can go ahead and photo finish it up to your heart's yeah, content, yeah. obviously, that opportunity. Or super black, obviously, when the time arrives. Yes! Super uh, edgy. So, Tom, what are you running right now? I've just been hopping around with all the weapons here. Now I've got Last Furnace and Elsie's rifle on. Yeah, I see the last stand. It, it, always meta. But six seconds. <laughs> holy better, crap. They're both pretty, pretty, pretty solid weapons. <laughs> the purposes of illustration. No, here's that new perk that you were both were talking about last stand. Yeah. On Again, reminder, this last name will furnace. be changing in, in the live version. Yep. Weapon final blows, yeah, grant so bonus damage. Final blows, blows, grant bonus damage. Uh, melee and grenade final blows grant a larger damage bonus that can stack. So once you get this perk... It's literally roll, golden tricorn, but yeah. better. Nice way to go ahead and clear out if a bunch it's, of red Well, granted, how, uh, depending on how much damage on the right stacking thing. of ability, so like if you keep getting ability kills. Yeah, it ties nicely into the origin trait as well. Because the origin trait. To get an ability kill! Your abilities, and then you get, uh, bonus well, that's kind of tough to do when. Of course, yeah. you're going to run the Golden Tricorn with a stasis subclass, which is really tough to get. Blah, blah. The Guardian is never a bad place to find yourself, frankly. Uh. Let's see here. Actually, also, too, is, you know, I know we touched, obviously, on Chris's personal favorite being Blast Virtus. Kelsey, was there anything uh, when you saw this land back on the list of the Brave Arsenal where you were like, finally, that one's back? Oh, <laughs> yeah, they, they, you just slide underneath it. Run, <laughs> run, <laughs> head I mean, first through. Oh, you're, you're you almost died from, you're going to die. Watch. Never mind, you, damn Is it. there anything in particular that, that, you know, obviously having taken such a, a big hand in helping design and sort of define all this stuff, um, you know, what are your, your favorite weapons and roles that have come out of this? I'm, I'm pretty, pretty basic, pretty easy. I, I really am excited about Recluse uh, and, and, and Mountaintop. Yeah. Like, no I, Revoker. I just love that combo of being able to, like, get in close with a, an SMG and get the, get the damage perk going and feeling really powerful, then being able to switch to the grenade launcher and fire off some like no revoker and be able to play around <laughs> with getting a little more airborne we <laughs> i do like that though i'm actually like, that fun. like mountain top gets a pass on coming back just because of that diving on top of me and, and i look forward to like you know the accidentally not accidentally blowing myself up but it's a lot we harder to do now like i i remember with mountain top back in the day I, I would like i would just like shoot my feet on purpose <laughs> and like it was usually like an instant Death, and so you can really uh, you get a lot more up close and personal with it. Yeah, let's see. Fit nicely into a lot of builds. Honestly, I can already see a Tommy's matchbook build with that. <laughs> just floating up there in the sky as a warlock, just murdering everyone. Is there going to be like any? But that is to say, now there's an opportunity for more anything than just else, like an exotic to go for know, Kelsey, at least. <laughs> We, we can share. <laughs> yes. We can share the abilities, uh, particularly uh, with the redesign of uh, Manticore. There's a, a fun strategy. I don't know how super effective it is, but yeah. like mountain top to launch yourself way up into the air yeah. and switch over to <laughs> Manticore. Yeah, and that'd be hilarious. Just seems like a, a fever dream I had one time, honestly. Uh, also, <clears> too, <throat> for the folks at home that may not have seen the Manticore uh, kind of redesign, can you tell us a little bit too about how the the intrinsic perk on that works now? So, so uh, we're yeah, we're padding so in the time. The base functionality, the way you use well, it, I won't lie, it's interesting to, uh, you know, uh, have devs talk like about stuff, but I know a lot of people are probably like, if you're running downstairs and that kind of thing. I guess you want to know the new stuff. Uh, you can also just deactivate it by holding reload, and we'll do that quick special reload animation. Oh, very nice. Before you have to wait for it to expire or, um, like, switch off the weapon. So what is the yeah. third stream, then? They're, they're really, like, spreading it out, you know? Now gives you a void overshield. Uh, which, like, can we, can, course, is there, like, no exotic weapon to go for or something? You know, that would be a perfect yeah, time yeah, to do yeah. that. Devour the whole nine, obviously. That's going to be a lot of uh, oh, yeah. mobile weapons. Survivability as well. It also uh, decreases enemy accuracy against you, similar to the Always On Time Sparrow. So yeah. you've got a ton more, um, like, damage resistance. You've got an overshield, and enemies are missing you all the time. So it's uh, combined with being able to launch yourself up into the air easily with mountain top. It's, yeah. It's good fun. That's also too, actually. Uh, we got a question from chat that is, what's the difference between uh, the new perk um, mm -hmm. and uh, Golden Tricorn? They sound pretty similar. Yes! Uh, they do have kind See. of similar functionality. The big one is that the Golden Tricorn bonus is large, but uh, doesn't stack. Hmm. Okay, so, so yeah, it's literally yeah, that, and, uh, just better. Perk, whose name I can't remember. Yep. It's, not, it's not in this book, <laughs> um, Is that the, up, the uptime is higher. Excellent, uh, okay. 
Makes sense. Yeah, that too. Uh, also, too, it's, uh, we got another chat as well. Uh, chat question for me, I should say. Uh, will the weapon ornaments for Luna's Howl and the Recluse be equipable for the new versions of those weapons? Uh, yes, they will. Oh, awesome. Both for the, uh, the base versions and for the variants, you can equip any ornaments that you've got. Um, that's why they're going to be in the Eververse store. That, uh, some of those are showing up later in the season. Yeah. Uh, in the Bright Dust storm. Yep. For anyone out there that might. Uh, there it is. Check so the if you missed out on those those weapon yeah. Yeah. ornaments, yes or no? they're going to be there. Firm, maybe. <laughs> uh, I think I have the recluse right. one. So we're doing a pretty good job here, Tom. I got to say, uh, it seems like you're making some pretty good quick work of these lost sectors. Yeah, yeah, those lost sectors, really, really tough. Oh, no, you almost died. It didn't work on easy. It's been a while, though. Oh, my God. You did it, guys. You know, as, as you uh, kind of uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. The light is going to be. Um, you know, what was the role that these weapons played? Like, why is why is Shax choosing now to go ahead and re-equip us with this particular set of antiquities? Because he's a jerk and hold it in his vault. Arts, Never cleaned it out. Uh, that, that we've kind of set aside, at least in the Crucible and other spaces, and and now in this this kind of dire time with, with our backs against the wall. We Jackson, like getting killed by these aside. weapons, it was like this uh, is bad those, because I uh, conventions and, and you know, stupid. Really, uh, to take every advantage we can in the fight against the witness and and kind of like you know having players. That's why we're not getting Revoker you know, back is because like, Shaq's you know, like this is oppressive. To, to hop in and play if you haven't been playing or uh, if, if you want to catch up, and we're going to give you the weapons you need to be ready for the final shape. Like, as long as you show up every week, you, you do the work, uh, you're going to get, like, an incredible arsenal. Yeah, particularly also, if you had been, like, looking at some of the uh, meta heavy grenade launchers, yeah. you can just walk in and get edge in transit and, like, be, like, competitive already. Yeah. The edge transit, like I said, to, uh, I can't I wait to see those combination of perks because that, uh, Cascade Noah Point be being in the first. After last week's stream in chat, cheering everyone. I mean, come on. on. So if everyone out there wants to give him a quick yeah, great in chat, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> I love how like they even like are like yeah, that's not a meme. Alrighty. I really like auto loading hoster on a mountaintop. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. It's. I mean, I've so got. Strong. Yeah, I've got a, a fighting lion part in our dust loadout that obviously hinges pretty heavily on auto-loading holster because I never want to stop shooting any grenades. <laughs> I'm one of those. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> We're getting some love for no in the chat. All right, love to see it. Uh, so also, too, actually, you know, over the course of, of developing kind of this new reward structure, was there anything about it where you're like, all right, this is, this is the moment. Like, Onslaught is set up just right. Like, what was it like kind of building this structure for players to go ahead and just reinvest in, I guess? Yeah. I think because we, we wanted to. Explosion going. Yeah. There was this whole conversation and how we wanted to feel when you open the chest and all this stuff and, and all these people. Yeah, when I opened the chest, I wanted I wanted to just go <laughs> with loot. Part and then, it, you know, finally getting in there and just, it has the dysentery. Just seeing everything just yeah. <laughs> like I guess all of your work just like flying through the air in space. <laughs> it's all in my face, really all the loot. It really felt really felt like it was coming together. I'm also really partial to when we start getting. Um, more icons and world art coming in. The space really started to feel tangible when Shax finally had the guns in his hands in the, yeah. in the <laughs> in all the hollow Shax. This wild. may be copium, but I'm still because, believing yeah, that we're gonna that get the D1 tower, tower somehow. Like right away, you were like, "This is how we want it to be." Or was it just what was the evolution of that space like when you guys were building it? We got to, oh, it was really fun working with world art and all this stuff. Um, it, it, we had a bunch of people in the room, everyone who's dedicated to the space in some capacity, and we were just brainstorming together and, and, and laughing and coming up with all these, these fun ideas. So Look at that. It was Midnight a huge cool. collaborative process, and I think that's what's so magical about working in games is you get to work. I just wish they would bring back all the old Leviathan raids and Scourge. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, also, too, we got one more quick question from chat that caught my eye. Uh, is the Master of Arms perk as powerful as before? Probably not. It's had to be toned down. Maybe. Yep. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still very strong. Um, but yeah, that, that original version is pretty wild. Kind of in a league of its own, certainly. Is it going to be just a rampage, though? Like, that's where it's like... Mm. Uh, all right, Tom. So what's your, uh, your, what's your what's your strat right now? Is it basically just Old West Gunslinger? Yeah, I mean, I... I, I haven't been having a chance to play with all these guns either, <laughs> so I'm just having fun over here. Like you guys can, you can do your stream over there. I'm just gonna play uh, with, uh, with Midnight Coup here, which just oh, it just feels so snappy and crispy. So good. I feel like I just gotta 
point it in the right direction. It this does one has a lot of the work. Uh, explosive rounds and kinetic tremors. Is that what it has? Or? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah great. Just, I, you don't even really need to be that accurate. I guess with this this roll, I can just kind of shoot around. Yeah, I didn't need it to be nerfed though. The the recluse perk works. because it was sure basically like, <laughs> why use anything yeah. else in PVE? <laughs> Heck, even in PvP. That's, what are some roles, by the way? So obviously, I think you know they, they each kind of have their different PvP. Like it's PvP it's players, understandable. In in the PvE trenches, are there any roles in particular with this new kind of set of perks that you were really caught off guard by or surprised by? Uh, I mean, Firefly Kinetic Tremors is really really strong. I think that was yeah. actually the role that uh, Noah was running yeah. last week. Yeah, he was making it look pretty good, thankfully. Yeah, he's smart. <laughs> uh, Noah's all right at the game, as it turns out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else? I think uh, the role that we've got here on Edge Transit. Uh, which is uh, cascade point left column. Yeah. Uh, being able to just like mag dump yeah. uh, a whole drum grenade launcher. What about the last? Really strong. Yeah. Yeah. What about, about the last? Potential as well. Last perks. Uh, and also too, actually, combination. Uh, another question from chat. Do Look at that damage! Oh my god! Do you have to do higher level onslaughts, or is there <laughs> That's a so to drop a stupidly awesome. Regardless. Uh, there is always a chance. Um, those are the, the limited edition variants. Yeah. yeah. You didn't open the uh, lost sector reminder, chest. The, the You're not gonna get your boo. I repeat. Those ones have a higher chance of giving you. Uh, <laughs> one of those, like, <laughs> those give you the curated ones, right? Yes, those are the that's curated right, right. ones. So pretty much, that's just a that's a guarantee that you can get them. But anytime you get a brave weapon, there's a chance that it will it will have the double perks and the. The nice. Awesome on it. So, nice. Really so when yeah, thing. when you get the really kind of rare looking ones, like you get the, the double perks. Nice. Yeah. Like it'd be in a playtest time. Oh, I, I got one. I got yeah. a limited edition one. It's just a really fun. It's kind of feeling. Even just that excitement of like when you're you know out there doing a dungeon farm or whatever the case is, and you're checking. You forget you lost your shit. And you're just like, oh, that initial set of rolls is pretty cool, and then you click in and you're like, wait, I can curate this to exactly what I want it to be. Like that moment's always pretty rewarding, honestly. Uh, so obviously, so yes. So, uh, as so a quick reminder to everyone in chat, you so forgot uh, the blue the brave arsenal will be able to drop from onslaught. Uh, the blue every weapon per army. stage was it every 10 levels? Yes, every set. Excellent. Okay, set. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, see, this is we have the experts here, obviously. <laughs> yes, uh, all right, Tom, what's what's next on the list? Which which lost sector is going to wilt against your powers? Wow, all these lost, lost I sectors. And, I don't know what it's called, but it's on top of the rocks here, I think, right? Is that that's, that's it's a I'm hole? Remember. It's the moisty uh, cave because you go down, down into a hole. It's very moist down there. A little bit of hair. I mean, bush. Can't die from damage anymore. That didn't make it better. That's what we have the to do, or to use for rather to get those kills on ourselves. Oh, wrong way. This is the right way. Uh, and actually, also too, so a lot of questions in chat about the uh, the, the pools of perks that are going to be be available, the weapons that are going to be available. Uh, you and your team over on the weapons team have also gone ahead and authored a blog that will be hitting Bungie.net tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's going to list out all of the weapons and uh, all of the perks. That oh crap! Already, yeah, nice. The, the perks as of tomorrow. Yeah. So, there'll be a so we will get to see everything. Go, and go nuts and kind of imagine their most exciting opportunities, really. <laughs> I was about to say, like, are we going to have to wait till Into the Light to see all these combos, but... Uh, actually, so also, too, you know, we've talked a lot about the Brave Arsenal. Let's go ahead and touch on um, the, the Parade set again. Um, what was kind of the inspiration behind that set and kind of bringing it forward now? This is kind of like... A I'm still sad that we didn't get the... Like, they... they mentioned, that... But, you know, why is Shax choosing now to... That post... When they said the D1 inspired uh, armor and they meant D2 it was, vanilla was, was armor, I'm like, no, okay. you. It was actually really, really uh, Here we go. fun. Uh, oh, nice. look beautiful. <sighs> I mean, it looks nice, but come on, see, D1 like, how, armor. How we're going to end up looking in the end, because we weren't yeah. really sure right away which armor set we were getting. And Here we, we go. So excited to see Like, I the, genuinely feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do, yeah, do like, the, the, the artists, the, like, feel the, uh, like, the key art, you like, know? no, an initial glimpse no, and we're and better than the D1 artists, like, like everyone was just immediately like it's just, it's just for nostalgia. By, like, is that, is that Blast Furnace in that Warlocks? Yeah, look, look, no, every, you're gonna see every hunter running this with their, uh, fake 2.0 KDs and Crucible and Trials. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm super edgy. I have zero personality, and no one knows who yeah, I am and cares, but I look awesome to myself. Very cool when you <laughs> break it out. Which is exactly why I'm gonna wear it too. I'm kidding. Excellent, alrighty. Uh, 
So let's go ahead and take one more quick run through. So this, uh, is there anything else actually? So I know we've had a chance to walk through the Brave Arsenal. Uh, Tom, in particular on your side, um, you know, we've gone ahead and kind of gone around the horn over here. Uh, is there anything about this this kind of new set of weapons and sort of the role they play and into the light that, that's got you excited about kind of the overall sandbox now that we're going to have available to us? Uh, I was really having a coffee. Sorry. The, 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 I heard the cup go down. Are, are, they're not god rolls, but they're pretty close to it. Like if you show up uh, every week and you do the weekly quest, you're going to get something that is really pretty powerful. Yeah. Um, and... It's, it's going to be like, for example, just looking at like the hammerhead here, it's got rampage and killing tally on it. That, that's just incredible. It never stops like for PVE, yeah, it just never stops firing, right? Yeah. Like, and then you're also increasing damage every time you take an enemy out, which is cool. And I could, I could look at each one of these weapons too, and they, they like, um, I think we might have glossed over it earlier, but the edge transit with cascade point, like you get a kill, yeah. and then you can dump the whole mag in like two or three seconds, which is, is really <laughs> powerful. And I think people are going to find a lot of great synergies between these weapons. Like I was even, yeah, like Mountaintop, uh, Recluse, and Cascade uh, Edge Transit felt great. Like I could like use the SMG. Uh, like that, I, I, well, my, my Mountaintop is. Yeah, I hate and seeing and then, deconstruct, like, especially on a heavy Cascade weapon. Like, come on. And dump the mag for Edge Transit, and like I could see similar things with Hammerhead uh, and Forbearance, or um, with uh, Elsie's rifle. Yeah. Um, and then, like, there's also just some some classic weapons here that I really miss. That I'm I'm really excited for Blast Furnace to be back. Yeah, I really I'm miss Revoker. Oh wait, with these being like relevant in the power <laughs> game again and being something that is. You know, what would be really cool to, to getting No Land Beyond. Yeah. Someone spent oh, a lot of time in the Crucible. Uh, I'm terrified already. <laughs> Proctor, thank you very much for all the hard work on that. Hey, at <laughs> least people that like fusions aren't uh, getting a right, fusion. So, we'll so. Get to a point now. We've gone ahead and checked out the, uh, <laughs> the, the rewards, we've checked out the new social space, we've checked out the Brave Arsenal. Um, it's probably about time for us to go ahead and start wrapping things up here. Uh, Mr. Tom Farnsworth, when you get an opportunity, feel free to go ahead and read. So what is the third this. stream going to be? Your hold from the throne world, obviously. Uh, that was, this is so fast. Your jump ship yeah, right, was right with right, orbit, wasn't it? Right here. Uh, I, I hear oh, here I am. You're out there in the throne world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it, everyone's at Noah and... Uh, Kelsey, been keeping it warm for me in there. In That's true. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, and again, we can use some sword logic later to expand it when the time comes. Yeah. But for right now, we've gone ahead and done our job. Uh, well, for starters, uh, thank you all so much for taking time to join us to talk us through obviously the the, champ the Hall of Champions, talk us through the Brave Arsenal, through everything with Into the Light. Uh, it's been a great show. So thank you guys for starters for taking the time to join us today. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Absolutely. And also, too, uh, as a quick reminder, again, to everyone, uh, we'll be back next week, the same Bungie time, same Bungie place, to, to have another live stream about everything, or some more stuff coming with Destiny 2 Into the Light, uh, like including some exotic mission, uh, some, pardon me, some exotic mission content and the craftable weapons that will be available to them. Chat, I saw you mentioning some stuff about that potentially, so come back next week. Uh, also, we'll be going, going to go ahead and walk through the PvP map pack as well, so if you want to see everything that's going to be coming in those three maps, next week will be your time. And, uh, uh, there might be a few more additional surprises that we'll have in store for you. Never know. But, and also, too, the final thing we're going to go ahead and make sure you close with is, as a quick reminder, of course, with the arrival of the final shape, you'll be able to get 100 more slots in your vault. Yes! Uh, as you can go ahead and see here on camera, we put it to good uh, use ourselves. Okay, we okay, some roles. We okay. We place to go ahead and slot them on All there. All right. There. Uh, so we now have those, thankfully, uh, in safekeeping. Okay. The arrival of the witness. Ready. Never hurts. All right, everyone. Well, thank you all so much for taking time, taking the time to join us today. Uh, we'll see you back here next week at the same bungee time, same bungee place. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you all star side. Well, well, well. I, I, I think it's all interesting stuff. Um, just sad there's no revoker. You know, no, 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 my weapon that I was really hoping for. And we're getting uh, another 100 slots in the vault. Very nice. Cool. So next week, I guess, they're going to talk about, obviously, the whole uh, exotic missions. I'm going to guess that it's going to be Hawkmoon. And there's been rumors about Whisper even coming back. I hope that part's true. Hey, Bounded, thank you so much for the 14 months. You legend. Thank you, thank you. Um, and then they said uh, the map pack. So I guess they're going to show that off too, which uh, I think the map pack doesn't release obviously until like May. 
unless they're going to release that at the same time, I don't know what they're planning, but, um, I, I, I honestly was like, I was thinking that the next stream was just going to be like a filler, but I, that's cool that it's actually going to have more info, but they could have done all this in like one big stream. I won't lie, but they, they, they do be spreading it out. <laughs> I gotta get those emblems out, you know? But, um... Yeah, I, I mean, it, it sounds very good. Again, I, I, I emphasize this so much. For those of you who are upset that they're recycling stuff, reusing... The best way, again, this is all... It's all made from an emergency update. This was never planned. This was never something that was like, yeah, we're definitely gonna do this. It was after the layoffs and everything, so, like... Y you gotta understand, like... You can take take what you could get with this, but I, I, you know, if you want to criticize stuff, I would say save it for, like, final shape. Um, I think that this is perfectly fine with what they're doing. I'm not saying that, you know, because it's free, you can't criticize it. I mean, heck, you can even criticize this a little bit. Just don't be mean about it. Like, come on. At least they're doing something. We could be just sitting here just like... <laughs> Nothing to do. Um... Nothing to do, final shape, you know, crows in a tunnel. <laughs> Trying to find a witness, find a place to put the beacon for us, you know. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> but at least we can uh, get loot, play a uh, fun mode, and yeah. Um, the weapons, I'm interested to see the rolls. So I guess like tomorrow... Um, obviously, like, I'll, I'll upload my reaction of, uh, this stream, which will probably be uploaded on the time that they actually show all the roles, so, um, understand that I am very excited to see what combination of roles. Uh, Succession, I, here's the thing, that's kind of why I was disappointed that, like, even Forbearance, like, I'm, I, they have to have something that's really, really, really good with it to make me want to have it. Um, I mean, forbearance, they could do volt shot and chain reaction, but I don't know if they'll do that. For succession, I don't know. Uh, but, because like I said, like, those, those weapons were already really, really good, uh, from, like, they're, they're at the peak. So it's, like, kind of weird that they chose those to come back. Like, I, I would have been really, I mean, they even took the D1, uh... LC's uh, pulse rifle, like the the style, they could have took something from D1, even. Uh, or how about thousand yard stare? Uh, uh, why not bring that forward as the sniper instead? Why, why succession? <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining, uh, but I mean, I am a little bit because if it if it's just kind of like, eh. Compared to like the the god roll that you can already have out of the raid, kind of kind of be disappointed there. And obviously we got the super black shader. I mean, everyone was flipping out about that. I I was even like, wow, that's that's crazy that they turned into a memento, but now it's actually going to be a full on shader, um, which makes me wonder like, what's the point of the memento then? <laughs> I mean, uh, unless it, maybe it does look a little bit different. We'll have to make those comparisons. See if, like, there's anything, like, to be like, oh, you know, the memento is a little, still a little bit better for the weapons. Make it worth the grind. So. But I, I think it really uh, funny that the fallen guillotine is coming back and it's... <laughs> it's already, like outshining um the slammer and it's not even released completely yet obviously we gotta wait till it releases but it's it's just seeing that combination of perks it's like well there goes uh the slammer already <laughs> i mean i i would i still think that the slammer is still interesting with the cold steel but fallen guillotine still just better uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. Like I said, I, I genuinely think that what they're doing here is, is fine. I think that 
when it comes to a lot of the weapons that are returning, it's fine. I just, I'm just curious about all the other things. Like now, once we compile everything, like what, what, what's next week uh, about the exotic missions? Because when you compile all that stuff together, I feel like this update's going to be pretty pog. But I'm still going to say this with Copium. I still think that we're going to get the D1 tower. Whether it be this, this update or after Final Shape. I just have that feeling. I, I, I genuinely, like, I just think that it's so silly to conclude this light and dark saga and still have the D1 tower busted. Like, come on, really? Like, it's just, that's just hilarious that it took that long for them to fix the tower. Like, if it takes that long to fix the tower, like, what? The whole city was destroyed. And a lot of that is, I, I'm guessing, fixed. Why tower take so long? <laughs> and I even said that. I, I, I said that whenever they make concept art and you see something in focus, that's on purpose. So, for example, the weapons and the armor on the, the Guardians was very obvious that that was going to be the armor sets. But you could see the D1 tower, like, really back there. Like, it's not even just, like, trying to hide behind the buildings or anything. It's right there. So, oh, excuse me. So that was on purpose. And obviously, uh, we got that giant goo, gooey ball behind Shaxx. So that's going to be interesting. And then, uh, yeah, all the, the, the loot grinds and stuff. I like how they have that attunement thing where, like, you can focus your grind on a certain weapon. If only you could do that everywhere. If only. If only you can do that. I, I still am shocked that you can't do that. <laughs> like, I always get so upset when they make the grinds so good in these, like, seasonal activities, or in this case would be the free update. But then, like, you look at trials where you resetting your rank three or four times does nothing to add more perks to your weapon that you get that's uh, an adept. Like, that would make the grinds less tedious, and they don't do that. Like, they need to be doing that. I do like the extra vault space, though. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. Content is content in this case, because I was expecting to not have anything. But, yeah, we, we got next week. We got next week. Let's see what they got to say with that one. I don't know. I don't know. What do you all think? I, I, I'm looking forward to it. For again, for something that's free and emergency update, it's decent. I like it. 